Okay, so yesterday we have done half part of Das Perfect, and now we are going to see the second half. Um, we had one homework about this. Did you complete that homework? Yes. Yes. Let's discuss yeah. the answers first. You will get one quick revision also, and then we will proceed further. Okay, Roshan says he can't see. Okay, slowly we are sharing it here only now. <clears throat> huh. So this part we have done one quick revision. The perfect present tense that is thus perfect. We use this as a past tense in German language. And here, how is the sentence structure? Subject, haben, object, and participle zwei. So subject, haben, object, and participle zwei. Ich habe gespielt. I played, I have played. Ich habe basketball gespielt. So you remember this structure, right? How <coughs> is the structure? Then we have seen these regular verbs. Then verb that end in ERN. Separable prefix verb or trend bar verb and inseparable prefix verb. And then we had these five examples and then we saw irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are also called as strong verbs. Sing, sung, zingen, gezungen, fly flown, fliegen, geflogen, give, given, geben, gegeben. And you had to use this list, right? to find out your irregular verb participle swai. Now, we had this exercise and first sentence, I guess we had written to write. What is the word for write? Schreiben. Schreiben. And uh, what is the participle swai? No. Gay schreibt. No, it is not regular. It is irregular verb. Gay schreiben. Still, it is wrong. Gay schreiben. 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 Nobody got it correct. Schreibt is wrong. It is irregular. In the chart, it is gay schreiben. Okay. Yeah, in the chart, gay schreiben. Okay, we'll see it once again. Yes, right. Once again, once again, we'll see where is that word. Okay, R R Schreiben to write. I will zoom it, and then something you will be able to see. You will be surprised. You won't believe your eyes. Schreiben, right? Schreiben. What is the spelling of Schreiben? S C H R E I B E N. Mm -hmm. And if you see here, it is S C H R E I B N. So it is Schreiben. Schreiben. So it is not Geschreiben, it is Geschreiben. But then why, Anand? The spelling will change? Just because go becomes gone in English, it okay. becomes eaten, uh, Shriven <laughs> becomes Geshriven. <laughs> but usually yesterday when you taught us about, you know, uh, converting these sentences, uh, words like this, then there was no uh, such thing, na, that yeah, there was. Yes, there was. <laughs> No, no. Anand. Yesterday you told us like uh, v f x uh, prefix is a g g -E and, uh, and, and suffix is a t. Yeah. Yeah. If that, if that the, is the rule, if that is the rule and the verb follows it, it is regular verb. Why do we call some verb irregular? Yes. Right. Like play becomes played. So do you say go good? The rule is we should add ed to the verb, right? Play becomes played, move becomes moved, shift becomes shifted. So right? is it like for every irregular verb, 
this every area will get changed world. because it was see i will say when you talk about irregular work then you should understand that it is irregular mm. means you cannot have any rule for it why would you call it irregular if you can have a rule like irregular should be like their perceptions why we make like this then we can have a rule if we have a rule and follow it it is regular work right Yeah. So, for example, what are regular verbs? Regular verbs are here. Verbs that end in er and they have a specific rule. Prefix verb, uh, separable prefix verb. They have some logic, particular logic. Inseparable. That g doesn't get, uh, you know, it doesn't take g prefix. At least there is some rule. So we call all these verbs regular. Mm -hmm. After this, it is irregular because there is no rule. Got it? And why did I give you the list? Didn't you follow the list then? Irregular verb list. When you saw the exercises at home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yes. Yeah, so sh to write is Schreiben and it is. Okay, Shriban, Geshriban, and yesterday I wrote a letter. How would you write this? I have guessed him. I know Geshriban. Yes. Can we use a guess in a uh, first place like yes. guess in? But uh, if you take Gaston at the first position, how should be the rest sentence structure? Ah, uh, Gaston habe ish. Yes. Okay, you can either do this or you can do this. Gaston habe ish. I need brief. Gestern habe ich einen Brief geschrieben. Geschrieben. Yes. Okay. Correct. Uh, Anand, uh, one question. Uh, you wrote ich habe Gestern and uh, no, uh, einen Brief. So, uh, like I while translating, I wrote ich Gestern. I I didn't use habe uh, in that uh, sentence. Uh -huh. So is it that? Like the rule which you gave contains, you know, the conjugated form of haben. But uh -huh. is it a rule that for every past tense sentence there has to be uh, this haba? Yeah, of course. Otherwise, you because are just... if, if I say uh, ish uh, gestern eine uh, brief uh, jeshriben shriben. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it incorrect? Yes, it is exactly as incorrect as I written a letter. Okay. In English, you say I written a letter. You will say written is already in past, na? So why we need have then? Okay. Okay. But that's the structure. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So see, you can make any kind of sentence because this is not chemistry or physics that you. You know there are fixed rules that if you add these two chemicals, then it will have particular reaction. You can combine, have any kind of combination. There is no problem. But does that exist? No. Then it is wrong. So you can make any kind of structure. Like I, you said, ish gestern einen brief geschrieben. Fine, geschrieben. That is exactly similar to I written a letter yesterday. Then why written? Isn't that weird? Right. You find it weird, yeah. but if I say written is already in past, so you should understand what I'm saying, right? So, uh, if we don't follow the structure, then it is wrong. Person will understand. The next person will understand what you are saying. Okay. Okay. Then next, to speak. What is this? Speaker. Expression. Uh, expression. Expression. Yes, expression. Expression. 
Gesprochen. Okay, because there is E, so it is sh, sure. expression. And there is O, so it is kh, gesprochen. His father spoke with this president, with the president. Time father has spoken. Okay, Zain Potter had met President Gisbert. Met their, their president. Their, 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 their president. Their uh, don't you remember them. something? Them. Them. Should the mid? Yeah, them. That tip. Yeah. Are you mid? Mid. 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 That tip. It's that tip. Okay, mid them president. Gesh broken. Who didn't get this them wala funda? That how this them came? God, God. Okay. Zain Fatar hath mid them president Gesh broken. To drink. Trinken. Trinken. Hmm? Trinken. Get drunken. Get trunken. Get trunken or trunken? Trunken. Yes. Get trunken. Okay. Then, did you guys drink a lot of beer last night? Last night, the word last night they use gestern hour. Gestern abend. Yeah. So it is. Gestern abend. Yeah. Yeah. Gestern Abend. Gestern Abend. Abend. Feel beer. 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 Get. Get drunken. Get drunken. How do you gestern Abend feel beer get drunken? To call. To call is. Anrufen. 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 Anrufen is to call. So tell me now, Parsip Soy. Yes, you need to find out Rufen. You will find in the list Rufen. And what is it? Gerufen. Gerufen. Right? Gerufen. What you will attach to it again? Angerufen. So this becomes Angerufen. That is accusative. Did you call yesterday? So for whom you got two WH words, right? Yes. And why it is accusative? Can you tell me? Call. Because here is accusative. Yes, Anrufan to call is accusative verb. Accusative. Accusative verb. When hast do or angerufan. 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 Okay, to see. Okay, anything. Any doubt Zane. in the second, third, fourth sentence? Any doubt? Do you want to discuss something? Second, third, fourth? So, can you explain fourth sentence again? Whom did you call? So, whom we have two words here uh, in the list. You might have seen when or when. when. And in this, there is also, it is mentioned that when is accusative and when is dative. So first, when is accusative, when is dative? So that is depending on now the verb here, to call. To call is anrufan, anrufan is accusative verb. That's why to whom when you ask, like whom did you call, we have to use the accusative form of whom. So that is when. Yeah, get it. Get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Get it. Then next. Again, Zehen. no doubts? Zehen. 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 So actually, I need to scroll down. So I just want you to be clear with these three sentences. Because if I scroll down, you see what happens. <laughs> okay, see here. Do you see? Because whatever I'm writing, I'm writing on the screen, not on the PDF. Okay. So it's clear. And now to see is? Zehen. 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 Gezehen. And it is Gezehen. 
Was heaven Z in Berlin? Yes, was heaven Z in Berlin? In in Berlin Gaze. Berlin Gaze. Was heaven Z has do in Berlin Gaze. Okay, so this is clear to you now. Any That's doubts, any difficulties? Huh? Anand, uh, for last night, uh, guest and not is also. Uh, guest and not is literal translation, but uh, what best is, uh, it is guest and abund. Guest and abund, yesterday evening. Yeah, okay, okay. Huh. Suddenly, this. Okay, can you see this? Can you read this now clearly? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, as I said yesterday, that in this episode, we are going to learn something different, something that uh, probably you uh, never have thought of, and some new rule. And in the beginning of the course, uh, we had discussed, you will remember something which is uh, very much similar to English or something which is weird, strange, right? Now we are going to learn something like that. We have seen till now that there will be subject plus carbon plus object and then part say swai, page swai. But now there are some parts of why there are some verbs, some parts of why some verbs, they say that we don't want haban as a helping verb. We want zine as a helping verb. So who decides there should be haban or zine? Twai. Twai, or the, this verb, parts of why verb, this will decide so there is particular group of uh, verbs. They say that we don't want haban as a helping verb. We want zine as a helping verb, right? So what are those verbs? I'm telling you just in English, in uh, A1 level, we have particularly uh, few types of verbs and you, you can easily remember them. First, the verb that shows change in the location. Can you tell me any verb that shows change in the location? Go. To go. To go. To go, right. To go, to come, um, to travel, to fly, to migrate, move, shift. Right? These verbs, they take sign as a helping verb. So, first you got that show change in location change in the location change in the location then second there are uh, some words they show change in condition condition for example um, to melt, it changes the state, condition, right? To melt from ice to water or to freeze. So when you want to say the water has frozen, instead of has, you will use the water is frozen. Got it? Change in the location. He has gone to Pune. He has gone to Berlin. He has traveled to Berlin. Instead of has traveled, you will say he is Traveled to Berlin. Sounds weird, right? Yes. Then it is correct. Don't try to make it beautiful or mm -hmm. audible <laughs> or that sounds good. Okay. Now there is again third uh, group of verb that show change in the what you call position condition, but uh, you can easily remember them. Time. For example, if it is been, 
what is this if it is bin then what is this if it is bin what is this? soya bin exactly very good <laughs> who is that <laughs> abhiji abhiji yes if it is bin this is soya bin now everyone else can answer the next question if it is shakkar what is this kadi shakkar kadi shakkar kadi shakkar kadi shakkar right so what's the logic here suddenly we went into the kitchen um, <laughs> the verb that shows this condition fell down slept died or got up stood up born understood mm. like he has fallen down or he fell down here you will not use haben you will use zain as a helping verb so what should i write here so i have been kadi shakkar position position ha ah. take position i mean don't take literal meaning of position okay you understood i explained this so yes. don't say aapne position likha tha you had written position i told you what position what condition right yes yes so uh, position doesn't mean any anything related to position word no position i mean to say this particularly okay so if you uh, want to know what exactly position means then remember khadi shakkar and soya bean okay so this things for example i fell down and then i stood up both this past tense sentences if you are writing you will not use haben as a helping verb you will use zain as a helping verb right no matter how good some rule or let's say some party in india is let's say bjp is doing well if uh, there is other group of people they say no congress is good not bjp and there is suddenly the third group they say no kejriwal is best <laughs> right so i mean to say whatever rules are there there are exceptions there are some exceptions some verbs they follow something different okay they want zain as a helping verb now one student asked me at the end but kya zarurat thi matlab kyun why <laughs> okay so i said that's why i am teaching so many students german go and find the answer okay if you don't find the answer it's okay no no not problem okay but just see and check how germans react to this no they are quite comfortable with that according to them it's nothing different it's all the same okay they got used to with this and then slowly we realize in hindi also when you teach someone hindi the person will ask you the same question i mean why why you change so many things in hindi and suddenly you don't change it for something you remember that kala kali pila yes. pili but you don't do it lala lali <laughs> lala lali okay so <laughs> you have any reason why for red color you do not change it according to the object right so uh now z haben sorry subject haben or zain now you got new structure what is it subject haben or zain plus object and participle so so how do you decide haben or zain that is depending on its why okay so now you uh, now you might be thinking that but haben and zain we have to write first na then we are writing its why right but you know now already what its why you are going to write so decide according to that this one got it so let's take you examples air is not oishland geflogen can you read this geflogen yes can you yes. read the whole sentence air is not oishland geflogen oh geflogen shows change in the Okay. See, there are many technical words, intransitive verb, and all that. Blah blah blah. 
forget about everything okay just remember these few things cause max in a1 level you are going to have 15 to 20 verbs where you are going to use zine as a helping verb okay so uh, then you can decide very easily uh, and you have almost all the verbs in your book right now so just remember them air is not deutschland geflogen you understood now it is air is if it is wir then Yeah. You forward the conjugation of Zain, right? Via Zain. 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 Yeah. And if you want to ask someone, did you travel to Germany or did you go to Germany? Ask. Ask do. Order. Haben Sie? Haben Sie? Haben Sie? Not Deutschland, if no one. Suddenly it will become a question. Right? Yes. Yes, not Deutschland, if no one. Now, second. Sie uh, ist. Ha. Again, there is fourth group. They don't fit into any of the criteria, what I told earlier. Still, they went to say, no, we want Zion only as a helping work. For example, uh, Z is zu Hause geblieben. Like we are talking about that when you show change in the location, and all you use sign as a helping verb, but bliben is to stay, remain, don't go anywhere. Okay, no, I stayed at home, I remained at home. Still, it takes sign as a helping verb. Okay, exception. Z is zu Hause geblieben. Anand, I have a doubt. Yes. Uh, in the first question, uh, first example, uh, why could we use hast or haben? Even for the question, we should be using the conjugation for Zain, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so exactly. sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, bis du or zinzi. I'm so sorry. It was a big mistake. Bis du or zinzi. Not Deutschland, if Logan. Yes, I must have confused you guys, right? A lot. <laughs> okay, so then, Z is zu Hause geblieben. Third, we can take an example like uh, It completely looks like present. Yes. Okay, but you should see here. Er ist am um, so on sister Mets Geboren. So either you call like he is born or he died. Okay, so on sister Mets Geboren or Gestorben died. Geboren Gestorben. So, N is some son sister Mays 1996 Gebora. He is born on 20th March 1990 or Gestorban, he died on 20th March 1990. Uh, one order. Okay. Hmm. One. Bis du oder sind sie gefallen? Gefallen? Fail. Or you, there is another verb, trend bar verb, hin gefallen is fell down. So you can also say one, bis du, hin gefallen or gefallen. Question. Bisdu. Fifth, one more example we'll take. I came home at 
nine o'clock. So, ish bin um nine over to have the get coming. Get coming. Got it? Yes. Okay. Another third sentence, can you uh, tell for Gestorban? Now, Gestorban is died, Geboran is born. You replace the verb and that will be the meaning of the sentence. He is born or he is dead or he has died. Whatever you say born. in English, that doesn't matter. We will not compare. Okay. Okay, but when you talk about he is born or he has died, you just replace the verb and take the meaning according. Okay. okay. Ananda, I, I love... Yes, sir. Yeah, continue. He has, on 20th March 1990, born or died? Died. Okay. Yes, you doubt, please. Fourth one. Yeah, Ananda, actually, I lost my connection. Due to storm, so can you uh, give the overview? What exactly you said in a starting of that one starting subject of, plus like okay starting of this topic yeah yeah this one okay give me two minutes now let me just finish this okay when others are solving okay. this then I will explain this one okay, okay fourth one someone wants to know right yes yes okay it is the average question so after one what comes verb. Please do. Or Zinzi. Zinzi. Yeah. In Gefala. When did you fall down? Like you go to doctor and you say like my leg is spinning. I fell down. Mm. So a doctor may ask you, okay, when did you fall? Mm. When did you fall? When has you, when have mm. you fallen? Mm. So one, mm. bis, bis, do, two. or Zinzi, Gefala. Gefala. Okay. Mm. Okay. There is now one more interesting thing. Tell me the meaning of Faran. To travel. To travel. To travel. To travel. Is there any other meaning? Or to ride. Ride. Oh. To ride. Drive. Or drive. Right. Now, yes. in this, if you consider travel, it is, it is, it is sign work. And if you consider drive, it is harbor. Okay, verb is same. It's parsed. So I will be. Gefaran. Got it? Faran, Gefaran. If you consider, if it is used for to drive something, to drive a car, Haben. it is Haben and to travel is Zain. So let's make one sentence that, how do you say, I have driven Bugatti. So that doesn't mean you, your friend will not ask you, Achha, where did you go? Is, does that matter? No. Come on, no. buddy, I'm saying I have driven Bugatti. Bugatti. So where did you go then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go and change the location. That is not the intention. I control, I operated that machine. That is important. So, have you shared it? Ishaba. Okay. And how will you say how would you say that oh, then Gefaran? Now Deutschland. Gefar. Got it? That you can use as because then you will not be telling the car or these things. Ah, you can say via Zin. Mid then auto gefara. What does this mean? We as in with them auto gefara. We traveled with them. We traveled with the car. With the car by car. By the car, right? By the car, right? So we traveled by car. Now here you are not particularly saying drive. You traveled. You are just telling your transport medium. 
Okay, and here your purpose is not like you are traveling somewhere. Your purpose is showing that I am driving or I have driven, right? Mm. Suppose you are driving a car and um, your friend called you and your friend asked you, uh, uh, hi, this is, he is asking you some information and then you want to just tell him that uh, uh, मैं अभी बिजी हूं मैं थोड़ी देर बाद कॉल करता हूं तो रीजन कैसे बताओगे आप मैं कहीं जा रहा हूं और मैं अभी गाड़ी चला रहा हूं गाड़ी चला गाड़ी चला रहा हूं सो व्हेन यू आर शोइंग दैट लाइक दैट देन इट इज फारन मींस टू ड्राइव एंड व्हेन यू योर व्हेन योर फ्रेंड आस्क लाइक व्हाट यू आर डूइंग वेयर आर यू गोइंग इट्स लाइक आई एम ड्राइविंग एंड वेयर आर यू गोइंग आई एम ट्रैवलिंग टू दिस प्लेस दैट प्लेस राइट so right. there your intention is not showing that i am busy your intention is showing like where you are heading to right so accordingly you will decide to travel i am traveling to or i am driving understood the difference yeah both are gefar and gefar okay yeah. fine so now we'll see a few more examples from the book okay first any difficulties any doubts Can you read every sentence clearly? Can you see all the spellings? Oh. Mm, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, no doubts. Then we'll proceed further. So here, uh, uh, the structure uh, is uh, our structure is subject plus sign, then object, and then uh, participle. So everything okay. is same. You you are yeah. saying that now for this structure is structure is same only instead of common you are using sign. Sign. Okay. Got it. And uh, and the verb is a special uh, verb, like uh, you told me earlier, location and then right. change in condition location, and position. Change yeah. in the condition and mm. position. Position means this kind of okay. Yeah. So mm. uh, um, not like uh, you know, I kept mobile on the table, so mm. I kept now mm. I kept on the table, so it is position. No, they are mm. not that mm. kind of position. I told you already what yeah. kind of position. So that's why this. i got yeah. the example like how do i explain them then this is how the example is okay, okay there are many many other verbs they do not follow these criteria but i told you uh, you know just the important part of it where you can easily understand now mm-hmm. there are more verbs and how do you find them in irregular verbs uh, okay here yeah sign verbs Anna is now Deutschland geflogen. Ich bin um sieben Uhr nach Hause angekommen. Bist du schon eingeschlafen? Sie eingeschlafen? Have you fallen asleep already? So this is why I mean. <laughs> okay. So how do you say I got up at seven o'clock? Who's there? Huh? I don't tell me one word. Come on. I'm t- asking you the full sentence. So what what is it? Haben or sein? I got up at seven o'clock. Huh? Haben or sein? Don't translate it. Tell me just. You will use haben or sein. I got up at seven o'clock. Hmm. 